Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. Telehealth medicine has helped many doctors see their patients safely during the pandemic. It's a way to cut down on in-person interaction to slow the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Jesse Alifano is a pediatrician at Peachwood Pediatrics in Clovis, and he explains how they have been using telemedicine to see patients. Hi, Dr. Alifano, how are you? I'm good, so how are you guys today? When Dr. Alifano meets with his patients, it's typically not done over the phone. He just kind of had the sniffles and just kind of irritated. But when the coronavirus coronavirus pandemic hit, this became an alternative to still see the little ones he treats. Well, telemedicine opened up this whole new arena where we could actually still take care of our patients, offer advice, talk to the parents, instead of just you know unilaterally deciding these kids all have to go to the ER, urgent cares, instead of their providers. Dr. Alifano now spends nearly half his time in the office doing telemedicine. If parents are more comfortable to keep their children at home, they can meet doctor through video chat. In the last few months, he diagnosed various ailments like upper respiratory infections and ear infections through the phone. It's a very individual thing because it depends on how old the kid is, um, how um, able the parents are to aid us in the diagnosis. So the bulk of the diagnosis is going to come from the history, from the story that the parents are going to tell us. Dr. Alifano says telemedicine has allowed parents the peace of mind to not take their children out of the home through the stay-at-home orders and still receive excellent medical care. It also allows well patients to be seen in the office to prevent any spread of the COVID-19 virus. But Dr. Alifano says telemedicine is not used to treat all patients. If the, the patient has some sort of obvious sign on there like it's a clear rash or yeah they have a cut or something like that it was very easy but if it was abdominal pain or a cough or something like that it was a little bit more abstract. He says there are many injuries or illnesses where patients will still need to be seen in person. If they have any interest in doing the telehealth do it. Um, if it's something that the provider thinks is inappropriate for telehealth, we can tell them and we can schedule them a follow-up visit either that day or, or another day. Dr. Alifano says nothing will ever fully substitute an in-person visit, but he's grateful modern technology allows him and many doctors around the world okay. to still interact with patients during this health crisis.